I'm Chris Hess, President and CEO of Goodwill North Central Wisconsin. We were first introduced to Taylor when she came to us through a program that we run in the community called School to Work. This is a program that's a partnership between our Goodwill and the local school districts where we provide on-the-job training and learnings that are hopefully going to launch people into their careers after high school. When she became a Goodwill team member, she quickly focused on how she could help other people in the community overcome their barriers to the point of becoming a job coach and even being promoted to a senior job coach. Taylor's story is amazing because it's a full circle moment. She came through our doors as a program participant and now every day when people come through our doors, she's helping them eliminate their barriers to employment and elevate them each and every day. So Taylor, we are so proud of you. It is really my privilege and honor to work with you and to announce you as the 2023 Achiever of the Year. Congratulations. Taylor is a pretty magical person. She is the sunshine to our building. She's the cheerleader of Goodwill. Hey, George. Hey, Taylor. How, how are, are you? you? Can how I sit you? by you? Absolutely. She's incredibly bright. She is very friendly. It's not a day unless you talk to Taylor at least once. You have to encounter her, and once you do, everything just brightens up. I'm Taylor Devonport, and I live in La Crosse, Wisconsin. My job is clients come in, and like this could be like their first job experience. I can teach the people I work with all the tricks that help me grow. I love helping people. It makes me feel good inside. I would have never thought I would be a senior job coach because I was a little afraid little girl that was like afraid of everything, like my own shadow. I actually grew up with my grandma. You know, it was different than most people because my mom passed away two days after I was born. I was a premature baby, so I was born two months early. I couldn't breathe on my own, so I ended up being in the ICU for 28 days after I was born. My grandma always said it was a scary moment because she didn't know what was gonna happen. I always struggled with reading and writing and math. In high school, it was a lot harder. So then that's where they took me from those classes to like special ed. I learned differently than other people. I always felt like I was behind. Goodwill, they had like a sign up and they had this program called Goodwill School to Work Program. My high school teacher, Connie, she helped me. And I was like just talking to her like, do you think I'll be good at this? And she said that I'll be good at it. So. And so I'm like, oh, I think I'm gonna just sign up, you know? Cause it was like my first job experience. <laughs> so I was like 16 years old, not knowing anything. She was able to go and work on the floor. So she learned job skills um, on the job. I worked in donations, new goods, hard lines, apparel, cashiering, <laughs> I did it all. After the program ended, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm actually like, this is a great fit for me. So then I just stayed on after I got hired and I've been here for almost 15 years now at Goodwill. She is not the same person that I met 12 years ago. You can hear Taylor anywhere in the store, whether she's helping a customer, a program participant, a team member. She was part of our training center, and now she gets to work with anyone that has barriers. George was a blind customer that walked into Goodwill one day and wanted to go shopping, and he needed assistance. So then after a while, like, we just became friends. And then years went on, and he actually told me that he needed a job, and no one wanted to hire him. And I'm like, well, why don't you try applying at Goodwill? And now he works at Goodwill makes me feel really happy and really excited because I feel like I'm here for a reason. She is <laughs> the love and the sunshine of our lacrosse store. And no matter if a team member worked there 10 years ago, everyone remembers Taylor. Well, my grandma always told me, never give up on yourself, keep pushing. And I wouldn't be the person I am if it wasn't for her. Little by little, like I started becoming myself. Now it's like I can do anything when I put my mind to it. 
I always felt like I was the underdog. <laughs> and now I'm like rising and showing people what I actually can do. Goodwill really helped me.